Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different and I'm sorry for this filming setup. I'm using my phone. My camera's not really working right now, so I have to use my phone. But hey, it's whatever. It seems to be working pretty good for now. But anyway, today's video I'm going to be trying insomnia cookies and giving my review on each Wow, each one. So yeah, I'm so excited for this. I have been waiting and waiting to try them. But anyway, here they all are. They come like this. Um, here is a little chart of everything. I got the classics. I didn't get any of these. I just got these. So we're gonna just try each one. Let's get started. I had to get some duplicates because on the um, site, the minimum of cookies you can get is 12 and there's only nine classics so I had to get some extra so I got an extra snickerdoodle and I got an extra peanut butter chip because I love peanut butter so I think I'm going to start with a snickerdoodle um, I guess I'll just leave this right here so yeah let's start with the snickerdoodle they kind of like package like this that's kind of cute um, they say to heat them up, but I'm just going to eat them like regular for now. I'm just taking a bite out of each one, so I'll heat them up later. Mmm, it smells good. Here's what the Snickerdoodle looks like. Looks like a little- Ooh! <laughs> wow, I'm such a klutz. Let's see. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, so let's take a bite. It's pretty, pretty good. I think it's like just the right amount of like softness. Like it's not too soft, but it's not like hard either. And with Snickerdoodles, I like them kind of on the softer side. I give it like an eight and a half out of 10. Okay, next I'm gonna try peanut butter chip. Like I wanna show them, but this one's kind of falling apart, so. Mmm, mm, that's good. I really like that one. I give that one like, like a nine out of 10. That's really good. Okay, next I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the, um, the I'm gonna save the worst one, the one that I think I'm gonna like the least for last, which is the mint. This is the oatmeal raisin one. Sorry, oatmeal raisin. <laughs> That's good. I love oatmeal raisin cookies, so. Mm. That's good. Um, I give it, for an oatmeal raisin cookie, I give it like a 10 out of 10. That's really good. Now let's do chocolate chip. Here's the chocolate chunk. Yeah, see, now you can see those big chunks in there. Sorry about my nails. I know I need to get them done. Yes, look at those chunks of chocolate. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's try it. It's good. Something about the dough feels off though. Like the actual dough, like the chocolate's good. But something about the dough It just tastes a little weird, like the dough itself, like the actual cookie dough. I'm not really a fan of the cookie dough on this. It just has a strange taste to it, but the chocolate's good. I give this like, I don't know, like a six. It's not the best. I don't know what that taste is, but it's not good. <laughs> okay, now let's do the classic M&Ms, classic with M&Ms. So this is just, chocolate chip cookie with M&M's in it. I'm pretty sure it's just regular M&M's, not like special peanut ones or anything. Yeah, that's what it looks like. The M&M's kind of taste the same as the chocolate. Um, yeah, it just, it honestly just tastes like the chocolate chip chunk one. Um, mm, six out of ten. Nothing too special. Now let's try the sugar. Sugar. Here's the sugar. 
You have to be careful, it's like coming apart a little bit. Mmm, it smells good. Mmm, mmm. I give that like a 9 out of 10. Really good. I think so far my favorite is the peanut butter chip one. I think I gave it a 9. I should have given it a 10. I'm going to change it to a 10. The peanut butter chip is a 10. I think I gave 10s to the peanut butter chip and the oatmeal raisin. And now the sugar. Or no, the sugar I just said 9. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Okay, now let's try the white chocolate macadamia. I don't think I'm going to... Actually, no. Because I don't think I'm going to like that one either. Because I don't like white chocolate. Um, I'll try the red velvet. I don't think I've ever had red velvet. It's, um, it looks like it has some, oh wait, the red velvet isn't even on the classic thing. It looks like it might have to, uh, might have white chocolate in it, so, I'm nervous. I don't know, the only thing I've had that has white chocolate in it that I liked was, um, this bread pudding that... I have at this restaurant that's so good. It has a little bit of white chocolate in it and it's actually really good. So that's the only thing I like with white chocolate in it. But here's the red velvet, very red. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Oh, Ugh. no, I can't. Mm -mm. Ugh. Oh, white chocolate. No. Mm. Let me try it with, let me see if I can get a piece without white chocolate. Ooh. Ugh. Doesn't really taste like anything. Zero. Mm -mm. Nope. If you like chocolate, if you like white chocolate, you'll like this, but for me, no. Okay, let's do the double chocolate chunk. And this one smells really chocolatey. This one's pretty good. I give it a seven. Not bad at all. Okay, now I'm down to the last two. <laughs> I don't even want to do this. This is white chocolate macadamia. Ugh, I just, I hate white chocolate so much. So, I know, the ones that have white chocolate in them, I'm kind of biased. But, it actually smells kind of good. Ooh, it actually smells good. I'm going to try to get one with, hmm. don't really like it. Uh, but at least the actual, like, dough part has, like, the actual cookie has some flavor. Because with the red velvet, you could literally only taste the white chocolate. That's like, that's all you could taste. But with this, you can actually taste like the actual cookie, which I like. And it smells good too. Other than that, I hate it. I'll give it a, mm, a three. Only because you can actually taste the cookie. Or a four. Let's just say four. But again, if you like white chocolate, you'll like this. Now the last one, the one I'm most scared to try. Just because like... I don't like mint with chocolate. The only thing that I like with um, that has chocolate and mint in it are Thin Mints, <laughs> the Girl Scout cookie. But I was actually thinking about this the other day, but it's been years since I've tried like mint chocolate chip ice cream. So I'd be willing to try it again just because it's been years and taste buds change. So I feel like maybe there's a possibility I could like mint again with chocolate just haven't in a long time so that's why i'm kind of scared to try this but here's what it looks like oh my god it smells so minty i'm scared <sighs> okay i'm so scared Mm. It kind of tastes like a thin mint, just with like a different texture. I Man, I don't really like it, but I don't hate it. Yeah, I just, I don't prefer to eat things with mint and chocolate in them. Yeah, I don't love thin mints, but I'll eat them. Like, I don't love it, but like, it's not something I would choose to have. 
but it's like I don't hate them so yeah <laughs> if you like mint and chocolate you'll love this it tastes like a thin mint but I'd give it like I don't know a five out of ten so the worst one was the red velvet that was horrible so bad um I think out of the white chocolate and mint chocolate ones this is the white chocolate macadamia was the best I thought I was gonna like this the least but no this one's like a five tastes like a thin mint maybe I don't like thin mints as much as I thought that's all the cookies I have I'm trying to give my top three first peanut butter chip second I think the snickerdoodle was second and then the third was sugar and then oatmeal raisin yeah okay you get the point you saw you heard the ratings overall I would say not the best um I'm probably gonna throw away the ones that I didn't like but yeah, not, not the best. I had higher expectations. I mean, I, I'd still say if you like white chocolate and um, mint chocolate, then definitely you'll like these more. But I personally, I just hate white chocolate. So oh, I didn't really like them. But if you like, if you're a huge like chocolate person, definitely get them. I just like regular milk chocolate and dark chocolate, so yeah um but yeah that was the video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to smile and have a great day Just pull me a little closer, oh